welcome back to another episode of KTV. My name is Nelson and this is... Jess. Hello. Well, Jess, we've been learning a whole bunch about fears um, we have. in other weeks. We've learned a lot this, this mm. term, yeah. Yeah, so this week, what fear are we learning about? Oh, we are learning about this week... Ah! Big sign! <laughs> Gal Galophobia, Nelson. Oh, what's on the sign? <laughs> sign. Alright, so Galophobia. Yes. It says fear of milk or lactose. And I have a jug of milk. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, are you seriously afraid of milk? Um, it's just something that I can't have. Yeah, okay, that does make sense, yeah. yes. So, I have today with me, I have a shot of coffee. A perfectly good it's a shot of coffee. It's a perfectly good shot of coffee. Um, I'm gonna just do- Just a reminder at home, children, um, please make sure that uh, you ask your parents before you yes, consume it. Yes, please. Please make sure to ask your parents before you have coffee, because sometimes it gets a little bit, ah! Yes. So, I am gonna do this. Oh, that's a lot, Jess. Woo! Have you done this before? I have, I have, I have. And so, Nelson, what I'm going to do for you today, I want to help you with your fear of milk. Okay. Um, Jess, it's just, uh, it's not really a fear of milk. It's more of a, I just can't have milk. Yeah, yeah, but you could always try. Ready? Like this. Ready? Wow, you made that really look easy. Well done. Like that. Hey, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, what about the rest? Of no, I'm not. That? I'm probably. I'm probably not going to drink the rest of that because that's a that's a bit much. I'm going to start small and help you today. Okay. Start small, and then we're going to go from there. Uh, I should still remind. Uh, it's it's not like I'm I'm scared of. I just can't have. Yeah, well, we're no. gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on this. Let's go to segment and see where we go. Yeah, enjoy. So, uh, Harry. Oh, hey, Matthias. So you know our science office? Wait, you guys have a science office? Yeah, you know, like the science the science office where we like plan out where we're gonna you know drop stuff that will bounce and no. basically what experiments we're gonna do. You know that science office? I haven't been to the science office. Have you been keeping a science office from hidden from me? No, like we, we've been there. Look, Nelson's there right now. Nelson's He's planning there, out right? new Will It Bounce segments. I thought Nelson was on the moon. Yeah, that's where the office. You don't even know where it is. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe there's another office that we could use things from. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. That's that's what I was thinking about. So I found Jess's office this week, and she oh. let me borrow a bunch of stuff from her office to see if it'll bounce. Wow, that's very kind of her. It is Let's very kind of her. Let's see if stuff from Jess's office will bounce. Let's see. So first off, I've got. This bean bag, it's it's full of beans. <laughs> you, are you good? It's 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 look it's. Are you right? Have you ever tried to move a bean bag <laughs> around this high off the ground? <laughs> you got. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I I don't think that's not that's not going to bounce at all. Are you sure? It's full of little beans though, and beans I, bounce great. Beans are bouncy. Back to those jumping beans, very bouncy. Yeah. Very bouncy. Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's have a look. Ready? Will it bounce? Three, two, one. I don't know. Yeah, that was about what I expected. Yeah. It did not bounce. Maybe the beans were bouncing inside the bag. That's what it was. In a bag, bean bouncing. The bag was holding the... Anyway, what else do you got up there? Well, Adidas? let's see. I've also got uh, a llama. A llama? Yeah. A yeah, little, little soft llama, you can tell, it, obviously Jess's office. Yeah. Look at it sleeping soundly. Obviously Jess. Yeah, let's find out if it'll bounce. Will it bounce? Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> it almost stood back up. That was awesome. That was pretty good. That was a lot of bounceage. Oh, it is It is soft too, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah it's very soft. Yeah. What else you got there, Matthias? Well, let's see, I've got, oh, continuing along the soft theme, actually, uh, I found some wool in the office. Some wool? What's she doing with some wool? Well, I don't know, maybe she knits more, a pack of things, it's... <laughs> kind of smells like llama-ish, alpaca-ish, uh, maybe like a synthetic llama. That's, yeah, llama wool. That's yeah, probably what it is. It's true. From well, the llama. let's find out if it'll bounce. Will it bounce? All right, ready? Three, two, one. Yeah, not not super bouncy. And less than the llama itself, probably. Yeah. Maybe it needs to be on the llama for it to bounce. Maybe it's the llama that bounces and not Maybe the wool. Maybe it's the llama. Maybe All right. that's what well, it is. Well, I have one more thing. One more thing? One more thing. What do we got? I've got a ball of blue tack. <laughs> blue tack? Yeah. 
<laughs> and I made it into a ball shape, so you know, ah. extra bounce potential. They do bounce. They do bounce. But does blue tag bounce? Let's find out. Let's find out. Ready? Three, two, one. That bounced pretty good, actually. It did, it did bounce pretty high. More than how, I was how, how high do you reckon? Matt, like 30, 30 centimeters taller uh, than a microwave? Wait, what? Did you reckon it bounced like higher than a microwave? Higher than a microwave? What type of. Is that a science measurement? No, it's about, yeah, it's about like yay big. Your moon measurements are weird on the it's science true. lab. Anyway. Well, that's all I got to bounce. Um, I did have one other thing. Harry, remember like we had the twisties before and I threw the, did you still have? Oh my goodness, I do have the twisties. I, I kept still got the twisties. I'll yeah, come, come down and grab them. Yeah, uh, we'll come, we'll come see, grab them. everyone else, we'll see you like on another will of bounce, but I'm gonna see go get my later. twisties. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. You wanna let come me, down. Let me go the other way. <laughs> Hey kids, I'm on the hunt for something amazing. I don't know if you know this, but all the grown-ups in your life are on the lookout for something they call the good life. But it's not just something for grown-ups. I'm on the hunt to figure out what the good life really is and what it all means. Right here on this map are heaps of clues to help us find this elusive good life. So why don't we jump right in and have a look at the first clue. Whoa, looks like there's a dark cave we have to travel through right here. Maybe we're going to need a lamp to help us through get, get through the darkness. What's this? There's a Bible verse here. Let's have a look what it says. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 20. If someone curses their father or mother, their lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. Oh wow, that sounds pretty serious. But what could that mean? Well, Every single one of us has a parent or guardian, right? Someone who looks after us. Well, God wants us to grow up to be super wise when it comes to our parents. When, you see, there's a super serious word in this verse. Do you know what word I might be talking about? That's right. The word is curses. And basically, it means being rude, disrespectful to our parents. Yikes. That's not what God wants at all. Now, what's God really saying here? So cursing our mum and dad doesn't mean using bad words. It means treating them like they're not as good as us or like they're not important. But to honour our parents is like saying, you're awesome just because you're my parents. We don't have to wait for them to earn our respect. We owe it to them. But before you get too worried, hold on. There's some good news. The Bible has 10 rules for us to follow called the Ten Commandments. And one of those rules says this, honour your father and your mother. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. It's like God's golden rule for all families. And it doesn't go away when you grow up and move out. And we can follow that rule right now. And guess what? Even if you sometimes think your parents are a little bit annoying, God says you still have to show them respect. Yep, it's true. Now, how can we do this? Well, let's break it down into two super easy ways. First, you can say thank you. Instead of being upset when they make mistakes, be grateful for all the great stuff they've done. They feed you, they bring you to school, they pay for your clothes, and they teach you right from wrong. So say, thanks mum and dad, and let them know you appreciate them. Second, if your parents follow Jesus, you can be like a sidekick. The Bible says, remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God, and imitate their faith. That's in the book of Hebrews. It's not about copying their style like their clothes or their hair. It's all about copying their faith. In my family, we love Jesus. And the Bible is just like a tre treasure map to us. No matter what is going on in our family or in our lives, we follow God because Jesus came first. That's faith. And God says, don't let it disappear. Keep that fire burning for the next generation. So let's honor our parents by keeping that faith alive. Even when things change, you can do it. And your parents will be over the moon proud of you. Remember, you're never too young to start showing love and respect to your mum and dad. Now, I think if we do all these things, our lamp is going to keep burning bright and we'll have no trouble getting through this dark cave. Well, I better go. I've got a lot more adventuring ahead to do. We'll see you next time for more clues on finding the good life, just like our parents are doing. 
Okay, let, let me just get this straight. Like, I can have milk. I just kind of have a lot of milk. I, I like milk, especially cheese. And I like ice cream. Oh, I kind oh, of have cheese. a lot of it. Cheese, I got you. I got you. Um, yes, by the way, we are back and we are helping Nelson just have a little bit. Just, just a little bit of cheese. It's a beautiful charcuterie it, board. Thank you, thank you, thank you very um, much. I can't prepare. So we've got that one. Oh, oh my. We got. That's hygienic. <laughs> cheesecake. Oh wow. One of my favorites. I love cheesecake. And, and, and of course, to top it off, a beautiful cheese pizza. Is that cheese pizza? Cheese pizza it is. With extra cheese with extra cheese wow jess yeah. uh you shouldn't really have <laughs> well um uh, well are you ready uh i'll have a little bit just a little bit because like i can have some I can have some milk. I can have yeah. some dairy. I just yeah, can only yeah, yeah. have a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Because like my tummy gets funny. Tummy gets funny. Yeah, we've all okay. been there. So like at home, tummy gets funny. <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. Let's start with your beautiful. Let Actually, your, your charcuterie board's beautiful. Thank you. Um, I, I, I have a little. I have a little fancy, fancy knife here. Remember, at home, sharp objects. Please speak to your parents. Yes, please speak to your parents before using sharp objects. Uh, is, ooh, that's a lot. Wow, Th that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to halve it? Can I have a half of that? Half of it, half of it, half, half of it. The, I don't want to be rude. Like I want to try everything. I, Nelson, I worked hard on this. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't remember the last time I had a che uh, cheesecake. I worked hard on this. Thank you, Jess. No worries. Che che cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Good cheese. Mm -hmm. It's good cheese. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, how about cheese, cheese, cheesecake? Cheesecake. Cheesecake. All right. I'm just gonna put this down here for now. I don't wanna start without you, but here we go. <laughs> Nelson. Uh. No, no, no. It's fine. Yeah. Doing it. Yeah, you are. My favorite. Mm, I like cheesecake is really good. It's, it's okay. quite delightful. It tastes like cheese. Okay. Do you want the pizza? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, the cheese was good. So uh, what's it? I'm, I'm curious about the pizza. Oh my goodness. Well, it's freshly baked today. Fresh. <laughs> freshly baked. We ready? Okay. Are you having some? Yeah, why not? Oh, okay, cool. All right. Okay. Ready? Go. Go. Can't do it. It's too much. Okay, that's understandable. That's understandable. Um, like again, uh, I'm scared, but not like scared. Yeah. Are any of you scared of any of any these? Any of these at home? Well, yeah. well, let's okay. let's go to let's, let's go, go to segment. segment, and we'll see you guys soon. Let's see. Okay. Bye. Bye. This term, we are learning all about the life of David. No matter what scary situation he faced or what mistakes he made, David had faith that God was trustworthy and always with him, no matter what. Last week, we learned from Donna about David's courageous faith and that we can have faith in God's power. Before we jump into today's story, I want you to remember what faith means. Faith means trusting God no matter what. Today, we are going to learn more about David's family and how his family teaches us about God's faithfulness. David is an important part of God's big story. Who's heard of a, named, a man named Abraham? You know, God made Abraham a big promise that God would bless and save all all people through his family. The Old Testament tells the story of Abraham's family, the Israelites through the generations and how God is faithful, trustworthy and keeps his promises. Reminder, faithfulness means being trustworthy 
and loyal. Have you ever heard of a family tree before? Well, a family tree is a type of chart or a diagram representing generations of families and how they are linked throughout the years. Maybe you will have one at home. I reckon you should ask mom or dad. But first of all, we're going to look at David's family tree. You see, this is David. He's, he was brother to Jesse. Uh, Boaz and Ruth were his great, great grandparents. And then there's a great, 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 great grandparents, great, 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 great grandparents, all the way to Abraham. But his family doesn't just stop there. The story of David's family, he then became a part of of Jesus' family tree, all the way starting from Abraham, all the way, there's David, to Jesus. You see, I'm going to tell you a few people on this family tree. You see, God kept his promise to Abraham that all his family will be blessed. You see, uh, uh, Rahab, when the walls of Jericho miraculously fell, Rahab and her family were safe. And Rahab did not feel worthy to join the people of Israel after the city was destroyed. She was a sinner and was one of the Israel's enemies. But God welcomed her and she became so important that then she became a part of Jesus's family tree. You see, Josiah, which is down here, Josiah, he struggled when people disobeyed the Lord and followed other kings. Josiah helped others to obey the Lord. You see, then the Lord promised Josiah a life of peace because of that. And he became, he then did his life as a journey to then obey the Lord by having peace. And then right at the end, Joseph, God promised Joseph a son and that he was to be called Jesus and he would become a leader of all nations. Jesus. You see, each of these family members have stories that show faithfulness of God from the promises of Abraham all the way to Jesus. God is faithful and he carries out all promises through ordinary people who make mistakes and don't always trust him back. One of those ordinary people was David, yet he trusted in God who gave him courageous faith. We can read about David's courageous faith in the book of Psalms where we can reflect on his experience and how he saw God at work in his life. So we're going to read from Psalm 100. It says, Shout for joy, to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and he and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pastures. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. You see, we can have courage, courageous faith because God is faithful and his love endures forever. Today is Grandparents Day where we get to celebrate members from our family tree. How has God been faithful to you or your family as we celebrate today? Right now, I want you to all close your eyes for me. Wherever you are, I want you to close your eyes for me. And I want you to think of someone in your family. It can be your mom. It can be your dad. It can be your brother, your sister, your cousin, a friend. Maybe one of your life group leaders. And I want you to thank God right now for who they are. And I want you to thank God right now of how they've helped you in your life. For instance, right now, I want to thank God for my sister, that she has um, been, she's been a blessing in my life, that she uh, gives the, t gives all time of the day to just sit down with me for many, many hours to just have chats. And I'm so grateful for her. And I thank God that I get to celebrate her and her life because she has been a blessing to my life. And so right now, I want you to think of that one person and thank God for them. Awesome. Well, today's bottom line is I can have faith in God's faithfulness. I want you to whisper it to someone else next to you. I can have faith in God's faithfulness.
Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can learn about uh, David's life, Lord, uh, and that we can learn about it by reading our Bible, Lord. And thank you that we can learn about that David was so faithful uh, to you, Lord, that we too can be faithful, Lord, that we too can step out of our comfort zones and be faithful uh, for how faithful you are to us, Lord. Uh, Lord, may you help us be strong in that. May you help us be more faithful and more courageous so that we can uh, tell others more about you. I pray this in your mighty name. We all said, Amen. Do I really feel like, Jess? What, Nelson? A nice cold drink. Great! And do you know what? You worked hard. I know, like, you worked I've, hard. There was a beautiful charcuterie board. Yes, I put in time and effort to Especially make, the Nelson. olives. Especially yeah. olives. And, I, I miss those olives. And cheesecake. Yeah. You made some cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And then you ordered Homemade. a wonderful cheese pizza with extra cheese. Yeah, which you didn't eat, but that's totally okay. Yeah. Was, that is okay. That was a lot of baked cheese. It was a lot of cheese. <laughs> so, um, what I thought, we might wash everything down with a nice cold jug of flavoured milk. Natural flavors, of course. Um, strawberry for you. I thought uh, strawberry goes well with your shirt. Um, and chocolate goes well with mine. All right. Um, shall we... Uh... The, the, the whole thing? Yep. Cheers! The whole thing, Nelson. The whole thing. Hey, um, are you sure? This is whole, real whole milk from some bovine. Ready? Nelson. Cheers! Nelson. I... Ready, set, go. Swear I tap out. No more, all right. <laughs> Actually, I haven't had chocolate milk in general. You know what, let's have a sip. Yeah. A sip, 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 I'm, sip. I'm welcome to a I'm sip. not going to do the whole thing. Okay. It's not as sweet as I remember it. It's definitely as sweet as I remember it. <laughs> Well, I okay. came. I came prepared just in case we um, we yep. reach this roadblock because this is a lot of milk. This is a lot of milk. Yeah. 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 Um, so, Jess, I, I have to ask: Was this scary? Yes. You've been very brave. You've been Thank very you. brave. Take a bow. You've been very brave. There's been a lot of cheese. I, ha I, I had a sip. I had a sip. Yes. This is the one where we're tapping out because that is a lot. That is a lot. That we'll, is a lot. We'll make sure this goes to a good place. We but, will make sure that it gets well used. Yes, have a wonderful week. not by us. No, not by us. We, okay. Milk is scary. Yes, uh, it is. Do you think you are gallophobic? You know what? After looking at this, after looking at this a, a little bit, yes. A little bit. Well, have yes. a wonderful week. Uh, see you guys next time. The roles have KTV. been reversed. Yeah. Okay. See ya.